This next blending mode I'm going to show you is really useful for those of you who like to draw and sketch your ideas and then colorize them in Photoshop. So here is a drawing that I drew and scanned to bring it into Photoshop. You can also photograph your drawings or sketches and a good idea to get started is uh, to increase the contrast so that if you have any lightly sketched pencil lines they're nice and black and if you have a page that's kind of grayish or yellowish it's nice and white. So a good way to do that is to go up to image, auto tone, and image auto color to desaturate your image and to, then to increase the contrast. Another really good way to go is to use your levels by hitting shift command L and just adjusting your levels automatically. You can also command L and you can adjust the brightness and the darkness of your image this way. Now this applies your adjustment layer directly to your drawing, so it is a, an example of a destructive editing technique. Okay, so now we're ready to begin colorizing this image. The first thing you'll want to do is unlock your background by double clicking on it, and then this is really, really important. I'm going to change the blending mode from normal to multiply. Multiply makes white transparent and black opaque. So when I start coloring underneath my drawing, the color is going to show through, the black lines are going to stay nice and black, and then the white is going to go away. So let's see this. I'm going to make a new layer by clicking on the new layer icon, also shift command N. Then I'm going to drag my new layer underneath my layer zero. And then I'll fill in my whole background a solid color. Watch what happens. I'm just using my paint bucket tool to do this. See how my lines have stayed nice and black. Everything that was white has gone away. Now this wouldn't work if I had my line art on the normal blending mode. Watch what happens when I change my blending mode back to normal. See? The white page is opaque and you can't see the red underneath it. So I'm going to go back to multiply and now you guys can start having fun colorizing your drawings. So you can get any color you want as long as you're making new layers underneath your layer zero which is your line art layer and as long as you're working carefully you can come up with some really awesome stuff. Now check this out. I am colorizing the bodice of her dress with cyan and I don't have to, I am working nice and carefully but I don't have to worry about working too carefully because my coloring is all going to be underneath my black line art. Another really cool thing that you can do with the multiply blending mode is to create really high contrast, interesting images that are also monochromatic. Now this process takes a few steps, but it just shows you how really powerful the multiply blending mode can be when used correctly. Now the first thing I'm going to do with this image is desaturate it and make it really high contrast. To do that, I'm going to use the threshold adjustment layer. I'm going to go down to my adjustment layer icon and then I'm going to click on threshold. Watch what happens. It makes a really, really interesting high contrast image. You can see I just want to adjust my slider so I can just faintly see the skull 
make it look kind of creepy. I think this would be a really good look for a movie poster. Now, I'm going to use my adjustment layers to use the solid color adjustment layer. The solid color adjustment layer is going to completely colorize my image. I'm going to choose a nice red color, right? And you may be wondering, well, what are you doing here? All I see is red. I can no longer see your black and white image, and um, I can no longer make out what exactly you're, you're designing here. Okay, so I'm going to now change the blending mode of this red layer from normal to multiply. And watch what happens. Everything that was white is now red. And the black is remaining opaque. All you have to do now is find some really cool kind of stencily font, get some some sort of white font, put it on there, and you, then you have like a really creepy book cover or movie poster.